Hello everyone and welcome to another end of week chat. I hope you're all keeping safe, being good to yourselves and just overall just having a good time in life. Make sure you're looking after yourselves and maybe one of these days I'll take my own advice. Um, but here we are. It's been a little while since I've since I've checked in with you guys um, and here we are. It's me. 2.5 thousand of you um subscribed to the channel and that's uh that's that's a number <laughs> that's that's a number that i never expected to uh not really get to but also get to so quickly uh this year it's it's been absolutely insane and i'm i'm so grateful and uh it, it means it means an incredible amount to me it's uh it definitely means means a lot so uh thank you to all of you who are new and thank you to all of you who have been here since last year uh thank you to all of you uh it's 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 wonderful and it's amazing and seeing this growth and seeing uh my efforts actually you know yielding success in not success but success in terms of growth and not in terms of Haha! I can now quit my day job. Um, I mean, that's the goal, really. But I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> um, but being able to see that um, what I'm doing is bringing more of you together, and we're like forming this community around the the games that I'm playing is something that I that I really appreciate. And I, I got to tell you, I'm I'm loving every moment of it. Um, undoubtedly, I am tired, um, but that that also comes with the fact that basically I am working two full-time jobs at this stage. One of them is a paid full-time job, and the other one I am treating like a full-time job. <laughs> so that's that's where I'm at at the moment, um, where you know I'm finally getting to do something and finally doing something that I've literally been wanting to do for like close to a decade. You know. Um, and I'm making up for those 10 years that I didn't start a YouTube channel and do gaming stuff, <laughs> you know? Uh, so that's that's where I'm at, essentially, is treating this like a full-time gig because I really want it to be. And seeing you guys here with your support and your love for the games that I'm playing and just showing up in the comments, joining the Discord, like even those of you, the, the small amount of you that have wanted to support me directly on Patreon, much love. Uh, you guys are incredible and you're really helping me get to a point where, you know, eventually one day we could look back on this and be like, wow, um, look how far we've come. And that's, that's something that I'm, that's something that I'm pushing for. Like I, I sit here and I look at the long list of games that I want to play. That's just for this year or stuff that's upcoming or like what I want to play next, what I want to play in future, like formulating that list of games that I want to play that you uh, want to see or games that you're suggesting to me that you think I would love um, as you get to know me a little better and you learn more about my tastes and what games I'm playing and all of that kind of thing and I think I think that's really that's really wonderful. Um, I've got I've got <laughs> So much planned that I, I want to action and I, I feel like whenever I talk about this it always comes up in the same sort of sentences of just like I can't wait to do more because I wish that I could. Um, I've, I was doing 10 episodes a week um, for quite a while um, and I was getting to a point where it's like I could still do that but also I wanted to take some time to breathe, um, time to rest myself. Um, and I and I did, and I've uh, we're taking it down to uh, seven episodes again, which is still you know uploading uploading daily, uh, which is mostly three games. We've current we're currently doing Resident Evil Seven, Shadow of the Colossus, and Metal Gear Solid Five, uh, and I'm enjoying every single one. It's so nice to have a full week of positivity, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> Resident Evil Six, but. Um, it's, uh, it's really nice to just be really loving the games that I'm playing, you guys loving the games that I'm playing, and I, I love sharing it with you. Like, I have years and years and years in me to do this thing, if you'll allow me. <laughs> That's essentially it. Um, the community that we form, the way that we the work together, because you're, you're helping me help you help each other, you know? Like, it's, um, it, it's really good, because... At the moment, it's it's daily let's plays, 
and I want to I want to be getting onto streaming so I can interact with you guys live and we can we can talk to you and um, you know we can talk together sorry um, and uh, all of that kind of stuff because what I want to do outside of doing the let's play episodes is is extra stuff it's not stuff that I want to do that replaces what's currently here and I think that's important is I want to do let's plays I want to do streaming I want to do reviews analysis videos you know like uh, reactions all of that kind of thing where it's just like all together as like stuff that I can give to you frequently um, and I think about that a lot and I plan for that a lot um, and I and I hope that I can start doing some of that stuff shortly and that's that's why like your support is so appreciated um, like subscribing liking commenting interacting um, supporting this community um, has been has been really nice it's literally the reason why I'm still doing this and doing this in the way that I am because I would still be doing it regardless but the way that I have been pushed by you guys with the support um, not pushed aggressively because if you push me aggressively I won't like it <laughs> but if you push me in the positive way that's like supportive it's like I want to do this not just for me now but for you guys as well you know for, for the community that have uh, gathered here because I've been wanting to do this, uh, like I said, literally for like 10 years at this point, around that 2011, 2012 YouTube era of gaming and Let's Plays, and kind of bring that back, you know, and, and engage with games that I uh, have been waiting to play for such a long time. Games in my, in my backlog, or games that I've heard of that are so wonderful to experience, and I, I really want to share that with you guys, and, I, and that's really paid off, like it really warms my heart to see how you guys engage with me having these genuine reactions to these blind playthroughs and even the playthroughs where I'm not blind and you're just in engaging with my passion for the game and or gaming in general like it's it's really nice just to have you guys here um, because when I first started I was uploading whenever like uh, when I when I had a video ready and then I was like oh maybe two days a week and this was around the start of uh, COVID in March of last year, where they're like, ah, oh, we're in lockdown, I want to see more, you know, and, and you guys specifically uh, pushed me to upload more content, and that was around the Silent Hill 2 playthrough, and um, it just snowballed from there, and then eventually we ended up with daily uploads, more than daily uploads, and now it's like it's something that I've really fallen into a nice rhythm in, um, and I want to, I want to do, I want to do more, so I just want to say thank you a very long-winded thank you um, because I have so much more to give and so much more that I want to do um, that stuff that I want to do for myself anyway but stuff that I would love to to share with you I, I love gaming so much <laughs> I was practically born with a controller in my hand I've been playing games for like over 20 years um, give or take that a lot of those years were spent replaying old favorites because I'm a very nostalgic human being and I like to play games that I have played before and I really love engaging with that. Um, so this is a very important part in my gaming life where I'm going into uncharted territory and just going through a list of games that I have never touched and putting myself out there and embarrassing myself and making a fool of myself by <laughs> exploring these games for the first time instead of playing ones that I know back to front, you know? Um, and and that's, that's essentially what I just wanted to touch base with on what's going on with the channel, the channel growth, and everything like that, and how much I appreciate you guys, you guys being here. Um, in terms of everything else, um, slowly settling into the, to the new place, every day kind of blurs into the next one, so I don't really understand the passing of time anymore, um, because I work from home and I do this from home, and um, I'm quite a, quite an introverted human who is now allowed to kind of extrovert themselves on the internet uh, with doing gaming stuff. Um, this has helped uh, my confidence uh, tremendously. This has helped my ability to talk out loud, read things out loud, provide commentary um, so much better than I used to. I no longer cringe at my own voice, and I think that's very important. <laughs> um, I had to get over that hurdle pretty quickly uh, in terms of editing your own videos. 
Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been really interesting to uh, come out of my shell and to be more engaged and passionate and exciting um, about the games that I'm playing when maybe I was a little more reserved and nervous and made a lot more mistakes um, uh, back when I was giving this a giving this a good a good go last year. Uh, so it's it's been really nice to see the growth in like just over a year at this point. It's it's been wild, and I and I can't wait to see where I'm going to be up to in another year's time. You know, ultimately, the goal is to maintain this community, to have a great time playing video games, to have fun, uh, to to support one another, to have a great time playing video games, and one day, one day that could result in me leaving my day job, which takes up so much of my life, um, to make this my day job. <laughs> supporting my channel, you guys supporting me, so many videos, so much content, just having having a great time. And that's, that's, really, that's really it. I uh, just really, really appreciate it, because sometimes when I think about it, and I, and I sit here and I just ramble at you guys, because these end of week chats aren't particularly scripted, it's just what comes to my, comes to my mind. So I do apologize if sometimes I'm a little repetitive as I'm trying to like run through the thoughts on the spot. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really appreciate it because it's still it's still something that I, I think of and I, I kind of look back on the past year. I just look, look at my channel and I'm like, I'm, I'm very lucky and I, I'm very grateful and I, I, I really appreciate it um, because I get to play these wonderful games and I get a, this whole influx of people that are, you know, Dark Souls fans, Metal Gear Solid fans, Resident Evil fans, Silent Hill fans, like it just everybody from these games that I'm playing. And then I think my favorite thing from that is those of you who come from those communities and then you stay for the rest. And you're like, I am going to go watch these playthroughs now. I'm going to go check this content while I wait for the next game in the series that brought me to your channel, you know, and it's, it's really nice because... I even love seeing the positive engagement on my older series um, that I've that I've played because I don't want them to fade into obscurity. You know, like I I think those early playthroughs of mine are, are so much fun, um, and especially with the with the games they are as well. Like my first experience with Metal Gear Solid and me finally playing. Um, you know, Dark Souls, like the beginning of Dark Souls and just watching that journey, like, I I can't, I refuse to believe you guys <laughs> when you say that it's the best Dark Souls blind playthrough on YouTube because that's not possible, but thank you for the comments anyway. <laughs> I just find that incredibly hard to believe. I'm just a dude playing video games and I like them a lot, okay? And I like sharing that with you guys. Um, so probably not the best. But, um, definitely not the best. Um, but I loved Dark Souls so much, and I, I know that I'm going to deal with the comments uh, of Dark Souls 2 when? Dark Souls 3 next? Bloodborne? Dark Souls 2? Sucks? <laughs> but, um, like, I'm staring at Dark Souls 2 right now. Not, not to play yet. But I'm looking at it and going, I could pick it up and start it. And that's that's the part of me, by the way. That is the part of me that goes, do two, do ten episodes a week again. And and then I'm like, but you need rest. You're working two jobs basically. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's and that and that's the hard thing is the balance. The balance between my work, my passions, my life, my my sleep. Am I sleeping? Not particularly. Am I taking care of myself? Also, not particularly. Um, but that is all in trying to figure out the balance of everything, you know? Also, uh, if, I appreciate it if you can actually sit here and listen to me ramble at the at the end of the week when we, when we go over this stuff, because I'm very reflective and I'm very deep in thought, and I'm just kind of Throwing, throwing that out. I don't have a game in front of me to, to react to. I'm staring at myself and I'm going, hmm, what's going on with my life? Because anytime I, someone asks the question, oh, what's going on? What's happening? I literally don't know what to say. Um, because all I, all I want to talk about is this. <laughs> so when I can talk about this with you guys, I'm much more engaged. I'm much more engaged. 
Um, and I think that speaks volumes for how passionate I am about this and video gaming in general. Um, what do I what do I want to mention? Where are we? We're in April. We're at the end of April, uh, which means uh, we are, you know, I'm just over a month away from E3 this year. Uh, we've got some really cool stuff rumored. Metal Gear Solid remake, Silent Hill remake, new Silent Hill game. Am I going to get more info on the new Fable game that I really love and adore? What's coming? I can't wait to see E3 this year and I am going to do a reaction with you guys. Um, I don't know how I'm going to put that together over each day. We are in different time zones. Usually I am asleep or it is really early in the morning when E3 goes live for me. Uh, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I might do a pre-recorded reaction. I might not. We'll have to see how we go, but I would really love to go through E3 this year with, with you guys. I just want to let you know that. Um, because yeah, just like additional video game related reaction stuff would be would be really cool. Um, I can't wait to see what's, what's coming up. Let me know what you are excited for. Let me know what you're thinking of for E3 this year, or just the games you're excited for this year in general. Um, because I've been thinking of the games that are coming out this year, and usually there are some massive years where you're just like, I need like almost every new release and it's insane. And sometimes it's like, oh, I could probably hold off of these games for a little while. But like this year, uh, most notably, we have Resident Evil 8 releasing soon that I'll be playing on the channel. Uh, as soon as I can, as soon as Resident Evil 7 is over, we'll be jumping into Resident Evil 8, uh, which will be a lot of fun. And then I think after I finish Resident Evil 8, that's probably my well-deserved short break from the series <laughs> because I've been playing Resident Evil regularly um, since Resident Evil 3 because uh, Resident Evil 2 when I was playing that that was a bit staggered that was a bit all over the place because again I was just starting out no one was really here so I was just kind of uploading when I was uploading uh, but since Resident Evil 3 uh, I've been consistently on the Resident Evil train and I want to play Resident Evil 2 again, but the canon story. I want to play uh, the 2 and 3 remakes. I want to play the Revelations 1 and 2. And there, there's other Resident Evil games that people want me to see as well, like something like Darkseid and Umbrella Chronicles, or like uh, just like stuff like that. Like other content in the series where I won't feel a time pressure to get there, <laughs> like I did with Resident Evil 8. That's why we've been pushing so hard with with Resident Evil and it's taken like sort of a spotlight with the most episodes um, and and that's sort of been a, a lesson for me <laughs> in time management um, with with particular series because it's like I'm kicking myself kicking my past self for playing Resident Evil 2 so slow because if I played that faster I'd be ready for Resident Evil 8 right now <laughs> instead of being like oh we're cutting it really close and I'll probably be playing it the week or two after, you know, after release. Um, we've got Mass Effect coming up soon, the, the legendary edition of Mass Effect. Uh, that's going to be my first experience with the Mass Effect series. Uh, so those are two new releases that are close by uh, that I'd like to be playing soon. Upcoming content and games. Um, I was pr thinking I would jump into Dead Space 2 sooner, um, but I, I gotta be I gotta be realistic. And, uh, and open about that with you guys is we did a community poll. <laughs> we did a community poll of, uh, hey, out of these games, what do you guys want to see? And Dead Space won. Dead Space won that poll. Um, and uh, didn't do so well. <laughs> didn't do so well. Um, which is not the point. But at the same time, um, it's because that I want to play these games and share them with you and I, I love the engagement and interaction and us having like um, passionate conversation or uh, engagement with with the game so uh, Dead Space 2 was a uh, sorry Dead Space 1 was a little bit of a quiet playthrough on the channel uh, I probably could credit that to the fact that maybe it's because it wasn't blind or maybe it's because everyone wants Dead Space 2 over the f over the first one because Dead Space 2 is apparently the best one uh, we'll just have to see how we go. Uh, Dead Space 2 will come at some point. Um, I'm thinking obviously sooner rather than later. Um, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy that one. That one will be uh, like 99% blind. Um, because obviously I've mentioned before that like 
I started with two in 2014 and then was like, oh, because I picked it up for cheap and then I was like, oh, I should probably just play the first game. And then we all know the story of Dead Space. Um, but yeah, Dark Souls 2, that'll be coming up as well. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 will be here for the foreseeable future. Uh, the Resident Evil series will continue. Shadow of the Colossus is so much fun. It's actually absolutely a beautiful game. Um, and then it's all just like the things that fall into place after that. Like I, I get recommended so many. I get recommended so many things and so many games and I have my own list and it's um, it's challenging to balance that and to, to work through it and to sometimes look at a list and go, which one? It's, it's hard to, because I want to play them all. And that's why I think I've got years and years and years in me if you'll love to stick around with me while we experience these things and play these games and um, I'd really I'd really love that uh, that's sort of like that's the dream that's the goal that's that's part of the part of the drive for uploading all the time and seeing this growth you know is, is doing that stuff so um, yeah so there's there's gonna be there's gonna be so many games to look forward to like I get suggested like what have we, what have we got um, I get suggested like Legacy of Cain, uh, Deadly Premonition. Um, I've got a I've got a list here. Hold on a second. Um, some of these are my own things that I want to play, but I've you know, and I want to check out Alien Isolation. People have mentioned Castlevania uh, for another uh, Konami series. Uh, Splinter Cell, which I actually recently did pick up a lot of the original Xbox titles on Xbox One because they were all on sale. So, like, I fully intend to play Spl Splinter Cell, potentially after Metal Gear Solid as we go into, like, another stealth-based game. Um, Little Nightmares, uh, the Telltale series. Um, did I say Alien Isolation? Uh, Rule of Rose is one that's been suggested and that I want to look into. Uh, Legend of Zelda, like as we go into like Nintendo series, because once we bust open that Nintendo box, like <laughs> there's no going back. Um, yeah, I've got a, and I've got I've got a lot more written down here, by the way. I've got a hell of a lot more written on here at the moment. Big long list of, of games and stuff to get through, and there will be games that I will play as Let's Plays on the channel. There'll be big games that uh, will, will take a, a lot longer, like I think Metal Gear Solid 5 will be one of those. Dark Souls is quite a long series as well. And then I have other games that are that are much shorter, and I it's all about providing that balance. Because um, at the same time, I want to play games that I love and have played before and stream them and have you guys chilling out with me uh, while we go through them, or sometimes even streaming games blind, um, which is, you know, something to tackle later on when I figure out what games I would like to stream and what games I would like to uh, pre-record for, for Let's Play episodes. It's it's a lot to think about. I, I, I just like, I like to sit down here and let you know where I'm at and what, what I'm thinking about, what my plans are, give you that general update that I'm here, I'm sticking around for the long run, um, and I'm not going anywhere. And I really appreciate you guys being here. You know, it's been great. Um, this uh, this will probably wrap up my ramble uh, because uh, I need to drink water and my th my throat is dry. I've I've been recovering from being sick for like a couple of weeks and and still recording. So again, like the the episodes where I've been coughing here and there, I do apologize because um, that's been annoying me. So I know it probably annoys you as well. But like. Um, lost a lot of nights sleep while being sick, <laughs> but I'm, I'm feeling much better um, at this point. Uh, pushed through, pushed through the sickness and, and uh, we can get back to, you know, having my voice properly and, and not coughing here and there throughout my content. Uh, but guys, sorry for rambling. Uh, thank you so much if you got this far. Uh, for my channel plans and my thank yous and everything that's going on. Um, again, thank you so much for being here. I, I really appreciate you. Uh, please stay safe, uh, look after yourselves, and I will see you next time.